Hey guys and welcome back. Um, not too long ago I posted a video on my little DIY scissor lift that I use to level out um, stock when I'm uh, drilling on the build press. Um, and since then one or two people have contacted me and said they want to build scale versions of it and motorize it. Um, and how to go about attaching a motor. So today I'm going to use this old cordless drill that I in a different video converted to run off a wall socket to run my scissor lift motorized. So the lift is obviously operated by turning the shaft, um, moving the space between these two cross, cross pieces, uh, making it bigger, lift goes down, making it smaller, lift goes up. Um, so the problem that you would have if you fix or if you take the drill out of the equation and fix a motor is that your point where you drive the shaft in relation to any other point on the, on the lift changes. Um, so when you fix a motor, your motor will obviously need to be fixed to the, to the lift as well with a, um, a torque arm or something along those lines so that when you put power on the motor, the motor doesn't just spin on the shaft. But as I said, because the, the dimension between, for example, the top and the shaft or the shaft and this point or whatever, because it changes while the lift is moving up and down, uh, it would be hard to have a fixed torque arm from the, from the dive point. So what I'm going to do is instead of driving on this side, I'm going to turn the lift around and fit the, 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 the motor on this point. Because this point uh, is stationary. When the lift is moving up and down, the, the distance between the, the, the rod and, for example, this, this cross here does not change. So if you fit the motor on this end and you uh, use a torque arm attached to the cross here, then that's pretty much it. It should work just fine. Um, like I said, I'm going to use this old drill I've got. I'm going to chop off the handle, attach it there, in a, and operate it with the trigger here because it's variable. So I can adjust the, the, the speed at which I'm lifting and lowering the lift. The reason I'm using the drill is because I have it laying around in my shop. Uh, I'm not really using it. Uh, the people that will, or if you scale, the, scale it bigger or larger or any modification you do to it, you will obviously use a different motor, but your, your method of attaching it to the lift will, will be very much the same. So this is pretty much what I want. Uh, I don't want to just attach the motor straight to it because it reduces the, uh, through the gearbox giving me more torque and using the chuck would be just, I could just clamp it or, or grip it on, onto the rod there would be the easiest. If you use a different motor, uh, when you purchase, obviously you will need some kind of coupling or, or something to attach it to the shaft. Um, now because there's no physical fixing between the gearbox and the motor here, I am going to chop off the head of the drill and place it back over there just to keep the whole assembly together. Alright, so now I can fit the motor back inside its casing. I'm just going to attach longer wires to this end to the trigger and then I can use this to operate, operate the lift.
Okay, so now I've got my motor, I've got my trigger to operate it. Uh, all I want to do now is attach my motor. And finally attach a torque arm. Um, so, irrespective of, or depending on what motor you use, you would attach your motor with some sort of coupling on the same manner on the on this rod here, and then fit a torque arm to the to the cross brace here to so the motor is is stable. That's what I'm going to do now, and then we can test. Okay, so for a for a torque arm, I've took these two pieces of aluminium flat bar and attach these one of these uh, 90 galvanized brackets that you can buy at the hardware store uh, to them and I will be fixing them like this like that and then just use a hose clamp to tie it around the the motor so the motor can't turn on its own um, so I'm going to do that quick and then test it Okay, so now I'm just going to fit a hose clamp around there and then we should be good to go. Okay, so here's the drill, the torque arm, just attach it with a, just add the hose clamp there. And then we can test it. The motor seems fixed. So let's check it out. And that's it everyone, the, it's motorized. So the main difference being moving your uh, drive side from, from this point onto this end and fixing the motor to this part here, which is, like I said, it doesn't move the, the distance between the shaft and your cross brace there, it doesn't change. So you can fit your torque arm or whatever um, uh, bracket you make to fit the motor to the design um, to the side. And it seems to work. That's and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe. And if you have anything to add or want to say anything, just leave it in the comment section below.